You know, I should have been made this video a very long time ago, you know. So, like, about two and a half years ago when I was really getting into this YouTube thing. Someone I know, I can't remember who the fucking person was. They said to me, Jay, you need to be careful, you know, about what you say on your YouTube channel. Like, you know, family members and that see your thing and they might take offence to it. Like, some of the things you talk about, it sounds like you're talking about that particular person's story or that particular person's situation and that. And I said to them, whether or not I'm using that person as an example, it don't fucking matter. Do you know why? Because your situation not unique, you know, blood. Even if I use someone's situation as an example, you're not the only person on this planet that's going through that situation. So I said to them, you know what? I was going to make a video about this and I never actually got around to doing it. So like, some people that I know might be watching some of my content and you know what my mouth is like already, in it. Man just fire from the hip. Man don't run no filters on this thing, you know. So people that I know, there could be people at Taekwondo, family members, friends, associates, people that know me, maybe work colleagues. They might take offence to my thing. I don't give a fuck, you know. If you're in a situation and, you know, I might say like, like for example, earlier today, I was chatting to someone, texting someone that I know, bigger man, older man. I don't really know him that well, innit? but anyway, um, he watches my thing. And I know in my videos, I talk about, ah, oh, man's working, like talking about people that I know who have said to me, ah, oh, I wanted to be an electrician, you know, when I was 16, 17 or early 20s. But I dropped out and now they're driving a lorry. And you know, I talk about in my videos, there's a lot of men who, you know, when they were in their young 20s or late teens and that, they could have become electricians and that, but they decided to drop out for whatever stupid, dumb reason. And now they're working for DPD or driving a lorry or working for Sky and that. So, man knows someone who um, is actually in that position. Now, I don't know if you wanted to become an electrician or something before in the past, probably. But anyway, I, I, I think a man's a lorry driver, innit? As I said, man not talk to a man too tough, innit? But I know at some point a man was a lorry driver, innit? A man might watch this video now and take, off it, and take offense to it, innit? Tough. It's not my fault. That you have made bad decisions in your life. I'm just highlighting it. I'm just bringing it to your attention. See, everyone wants praise and that. But no one wants to get critiqued. No one wants to be told you should be doing a lot better. Not just for you, for your use. No one wants to be told that. Now, most people ain't going to say that to people directly. But if it is said indirectly... Like, if you may come across a video, and it don't have to be me, it could be some other YouTuber. If you come, if you come across it in a video, some people will get offend, take offence to that. Why? Nobody made you make those decisions in your life, you know. Unless you're fucking kidnapped by some maniac and, and, and locked in a man's basement for nine years. Then yeah, you could say, oh yeah, some you know, my life was affected for this reason, whatever, in it. Yeah, but most people are not in that fucking situation, innit? Again, you're not on Papua New Guinea, some remote, destitute island, barren wasteland, where there's nothing going in. You're watching this, you're probably in the UK. Even if you're in a slow town, you can move, you know. People need to take control of their lives. But not the easy route is to, oh, and again, it might not even be me. The easy route is to, you know, be angry at some YouTuber, whether it's me or someone else. It's easy to do that. It's, more, it's much more difficult to take the reins and take control of your life, isn't it? Account. If you ever want to get anywhere in life, if you ever want to get on the right path to success, you're going to have to take accountability. You're going to have to look at your situation right now. Look at your surroundings, your environment, the job you're in. And just know that you are the reason why you're in this situation. Don't blame your youths, you know. Oh, I've got kids in that. Well, who brought those fucking kids into the world? 
especially when you've got two or three. Everyone's allowed to make one mistake, try not two. But when you've got two free youths, so now don't be blaming it on your youths. Don't be blaming it on the fact that you come from a, 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 a poor family, a poor background and that. I come from a poor family. I come from a poor background. I come from a good home. There weren't no scandal in my family. There weren't no uh, stepdaddy getting drunk, beating up my mom. None of that nonsense. I come from a good home, good energy. But, you know, come from a you know, humble beginnings and that. Like I said, watch plenty of my videos. I told you already, like, Mum couldn't afford to give man pocket money during the summer holidays and that. Uh, there was no trainers every month. There was no trainers every two, three months. Trainers when you need. So, don't blame it on your background and that. Man, electrician. Man's got this, man's got that. You got yourself to blame, no one else. You owe him some mad amounts of debt, yeah? Fucking, you're still paying off for that holiday 10 years ago and that. Or these payday loans and that, that's your fault. Ain't no one else's fault, it's your fault. Don't be mad at them YouTubers, you know? You should be thankful that there's people like me or whoever you're watching that might piss you off or whoever someone that you know is watching that might piss them off. You should be thankful that there's people about making content like this. Slap some Ross Clark sense into you. Because, you know what, yeah? You see, like, situations like this, yeah? Like, there's no point me having a conversation with someone in real life because if a man is going to take offence to this, you can't... It's like, a man don't have, like... I don't know... A man can't accept this kind of knowledge and that. A, a, a man can't accept the chat that I'm going to give him. For example, like, I know men who have come up just like man, same environment and that, yeah? And I've had conversations with man and they've said to me, ah, oh, yeah, 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 um, we, we've come a long way, in it." And I'll look at a man and I'll, I'll just say, yeah, 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 whatever, innit? Like, about talking on the phone or whatever, innit? In the back of my head, I've come a long way, innit? I don't think you've really made that much improvement. I reckon you've just coasted along through life, innit? Yeah? That's what I've seen from you. You know, if you tell a man, I don't think you've made that much improvement in your life. I, I believe I have. I don't think you've come a long way. You know, a man, I take offence to that, you know? Because every, everyone thinks they're on the right path. and Everyone thinks they're doing well when they're really not. The same man that I know who have said to me, ah, oh, we've come a long way in that. These men are still switching careers. They don't know what to do with themselves. Man went to uni. Then he's the emergency service. Now he wants to do construction work. Make your fucking mind up, blood. Again, do you know what, do you know what it is here? Yeah? I was going to say if you tell a man, a man's going to get offended. It's because most people are fake, innit? They can't handle the truth, blood. Do you know why they can't handle the truth? Do you know why most people can't handle the truth? Because most people ain't going to do nothing about it. Everyone wants praise. But no one wants criticism. Criticism is your friend. Getting praise and all that does is gas you up. Inflates your ego and that. But it don't put you in a position where you want to make changes and that. When you get criticism, it puts you in a position where, you know what? Maybe the people there is right, you know. Maybe I need to change some things and that. This man right now, having to do dumb little side hustles and that. Because their money is shit. From whatever job. Because they, keep, they haven't found a proper career. They just work jobs. That's what I'm saying to the man them, whether they're young or old, it don't matter, innit? Yeah, get yourself a skill or a trade so you don't have to do these little dumb side hustles and that. Obviously, man rate the side hustle mentality, but what I'm saying is like, bro, you don't have to be just like jumping on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and all this kind of foolishness. You don't have to be doing all that nonsense. Just to get a bit extra money and that. Never be doing that. 
You become a tradesman and that. Fuck, do your job. Get private work on the side. Look to start your own business and that. If you don't want to do that, if you're in a job where you can work overtime, bang out the overtime. And you get your money, save your peas, blood. And then go and buy properties. I've had a couple people as well. Try to say that like, one person and it's cool. It's cool. People don't understand the situation and that, innit? I've had uh, someone say to me, a couple people, innit? But I've had someone say to me, oh, you know, the reason why you was able to buy your property is because you were staying at your mum's house, not paying hardly any rent. So when I used to live at my mum's yard, I was giving my mum £250 a month. And basically, uh, there's one guy called uh, Bobby, innit? Uh, if you know what Bobby Cassandra is, innit? He must have shared one of my posts on his Instagram page. So it was one, one video I done a long time ago. This is back when I used to live at my mum's yard. Then I had this property in it, obviously, in it, because I started the JYS thing after I bought this property. But anyway, boom. I was sitting in my car outside my mum's yard in the dark making a video. I think I was wearing the same green hoodie as well, really, yeah. And um, I was talking about how I was able to save up and buy a property in that. So my man has. Uh, taken my video from the Blue Channel. Go and check out Blue Channel TV. My man has taken my video from the Blue Channel and uploaded it onto his page. But he didn't know who man was. So he must have asked the Blue Channel, ah, oh, what's my man's at? I want to tag him in this in this, in this video, on it? So boom, all of a sudden, I've seen all these fucking... Um, like people like mention a man's name and that in... in on, on, on my Instagram, and I'm like, right, what's going on here? And so basically, the Blue Channel TV must have uploaded my thing to his page. Bobby Cassandra seen it, then took it off of his thing and uploaded it on his thing, innit? He didn't know who, who man was to tag me in his thing. So he must have asked, ah, oh, Blue Channel, who's this guy, innit? And then some of the Blue Channel's um, followers and that follow Bobby Cassandra as well. I said, oh, that's JYS TV, that's JYS TV, and that, innit? So boom, man's reading through the comments and that. And obviously, push back, innit? Obviously, hey, innit? Man, I'm talking about, oh, this guy's like 32 years old. Ah, uh, um, who, who the fuck uh, can save out a grand a month and that? Just chatting bare shit. Ah, oh, you, you know, you know, you know, really and truly his mum gave him some of the money. Just bare shit. Man, I'm chatting bare shit. And I've had, like I said, I've had someone in the past, a couple people as well, and you say, ah, oh, the reason why he was able to say what to buy a property is because he was living at your mum's yard. Yeah, I was living at my mum's yard. Yeah, I was only giving her £250 a month. Yeah. My mum was letting me get away with not giving her that much money. But you know what? At the same time, a man never had a Mercedes outside, you know. A man was never buying Gucci, you know. A man was never going on holiday every other month, twice a month, uh, every two, three months, twice a year. Man not into that, you know. Man was saving up my money, you know. So boom. Certain people will say, you was only able to buy this property here. Because you was earning £1,800 a month and only giving your mum 250 saving a grand. While she's at your mum's yard, isn't it? Living practically rent-free. A lot of people like to uh, make excuses for other people's success. The only reason why he's able to buy that property is because you was living at your mum's house, blood. People like to discredit other people's success, no matter the magnitude. It could be small success. Or high success as an excuse as to why they're not in the same position as that brother there. But if you're getting something though, man bought a flat, you know. Ah, oh, what? Yeah, the man, if I get that part, man was living here on my own, paying this mortgage off, and I bought a fucking flat during the COVID period as well. They, they forget that part there, innit? They forget the part where... So what's the excuse there, blood? What's the excuse? Because I'm not living at my mum's yard no more. I'm not living at my mum's yard no more. So how was it that I was able to save up and still buy a property elsewhere? And put down a fatter deposit. The deposit that I put down for the flat was almost double the deposit I put down for this fucking house. Funny how that works as well. This house is worth more than that flat. 
but the deposit I put down for that flat is double this house, but it's only because I put down 25% for the flat and 10% for this house, innit? Man ain't got no excuse for that. Someone tell me how I was able to do that. Because some people think it's luck. Oh, you got lucky. It's not fucking luck. It's not fucking luck how I was able to buy another property whilst paying off the mortgage for one property. It's not fucking luck. Who will make excuses? Oh, he's living at your mum's house, rent free and like to say if they was in my position, they would have done it. Bullshit. Most people, if they was on eighteen hundred pound a month, living at their mum's yard, giving a mum two fifty, three hundred pound a month, they would have blow the rest of the money. They would have a fat fucking Mercedes outside. This clothes, that clothes, this trainer, that trainer, Balmain G's eight hundred pound and that. Don't tell me nothing, blood. Which I make excuses as to why I've got a property in that. Like to say, if they was in my position, they would have been doing the same shit. Same thing. When I was at that Holman job, earning 10 grand a month. Say to one of my work colleagues, I would love to know. One of my work colleagues used to process my, my, my wages for me. And I used to say to my work colleague, I would love to know. If there was a young person, same age as me at the time, or even a little bit older or younger, whatever, in it, what someone else would be doing with this 10 grand a month wage, I would love to know. Literally, you could fucking lease and maintain a, a, a fucking Porsche. Literally. Literally, you could lease and maintain a fucking Porsche 911. Not, not the Porsche Cayman. No, no, no. Not no fucking proto. No, a proper Porsche 911 Carrera. Literally. Much less, if not, a fucking X6M Sport. Or the RSQ7. You know, like them top of the range cars and that. Or S Class. That's where most young people with 10 grand coming in a month, that's what they would have done with that money. Because young people, not just young people as well, a lot of people, when money comes in, they lose their fucking mind. Anyway, like I said in the beginning of the video, anyone takes offense to these videos that man make, I'm unapologetic. I don't care. You only have yourself to blame. Don't blame me for highlighting, you know, the flaws or what mistakes you've made and that. You should be thankful. I'm, I'm, I'm shedding light on it. So now, you, got, you ain't got no excuse in it. You've been told, in it? You ain't been told to your face because I probably don't know you. But you've been told now, innit? Don't look at me and think, oh, you just got lucky because you're living at your mom's yard and that. Because me buying the second property is independent of this one. Like someone could say, oh, you was only able to buy that second property because you borrowed against this property and then you bought. Because that's what some people do. And that's what I'm planning to do as well. But I never needed to do that with uh, this flat. I never needed to do that. What I will be doing with this house is, yeah, borrowing against this house to buy more properties and that. But at the end of the day, once you put the hard work in, it's like a tree. You plant a seed and you watch it grow. And then when you get branches, you use those branches to plant more seeds and that. You get me? Man plants a seed. It becomes a tree. It, it, it blossoms with fruit. And then you use the fruit to create more trees and that. So I'm saying, that's why man for buy property and that, innit? Yeah, man not just holler at it because it sounds cool and that. Yeah. You need to start taking accountability. And if you want to be successful, you want to make something on yourself, take accountability in it. Yeah. Stop being angry at the people them that highlight your problems and your faults and that. Stay wise, done now.